One 26-year-old Robinhood trader made $1.500 in less than 24 hours betting on a beaten-down airline stock, while many so-called experts on Wall Street warned about buying into an overvalued stock market that was bound to tumble again amid the coronavirus pandemic. Last Thursday, Laquan Godbolt purchased a call option for American Airlines that made him $200 on the millennial-favored stock trading app. After seeing reports that the airline was increasing domestic flying for summer travel, Godbolt bought another call option minutes before the close. When the market opened higher last Friday after a surprisingly positive jobs report, Godbolt raked in his profits. I just started taking it seriously about two months ago, Godbolt, a New York resident, told CNBC. I've been watching AAL since the beginning of that time and I felt eventually, once COVID relaxed, markets would move up. Godbolt is not alone as his success trading this market. One Chicago resident flipped his sister's stimulus check into nearly $10,000. Robinhood traders lived up to their outlaw name during the coronavirus market downturn. The young investors booked profits, trading stocks with some of the best returns in the past two months, while other Wall Street veterans were left scratching their heads. There's nothing like momentum begetting momentum, Tim Welsh, founder and CEO of wealth management consulting firm Nexus Strategy, told CNBC. The aspect of just access is really driving a lot of this and the whole upward tick in the markets, again, just fuels demand. Young investors, like Godbolt, appear to have a prescient understanding of the market, unlike the billionaire hedge fund managers who said stocks would retest their lows. Longtime investor Stanley Druckenmiller, who misjudged equities comeback, said Monday that the market's strong performance over the last three weeks has humbled him and that he underestimated the power of the Federal Reserve. Even legendary investor Warren Buffett sold his stake in airlines during the pandemic. Of course, the Berkshire Hathaway chairman is a long-term, bargain shopper and the airline industry's long-term outlook is yet to be determined. Signs are pointing to a V-shaped recovery, a sharp fall in economic activity followed by a dramatic rise, in the economy. This theory was rejected by economists and investors who found it unrealistic due to the detrimental ramifications of the mandated shutdown of the U.S. economy. Stocks have soared in June, helped by the historic Labor Department jobs report that showed the U economy added a record to 5 million jobs in May. Wall Street was calling for a decline of 8. 3 million. The unemployment rate dropped to 13. 3 percent, far better than the expected 19. 5 percent rate. The technology-heavy Nasdaq composite hit a new all-time high on Monday, the first of the major averages to make back all of its losses from the COVID-19 sell-off. The S&P 500 went positive for the year on Monday.